Today we're talking about one of my favorite fish that came in this past week, the ring-tailed pike cichlid or the Crenocicla saxatilis. These are a South American cichlid that come mainly out of Suriname and they're a member of the saxatilis family which is the speckled or polka dotted, gold spotted pike cichlids. They are a small cichlid. They only get about eight inches, which is on the smaller side for a pike. Still sounds pretty big because it is, but bigger pikes get about 20 inches. So definitely one of the smaller species. These guys are definitely semi-aggressive. They're not as aggressive as some pike species, but they are territorial and they will definitely eat anything that will fit in their mouth. So I always recommend keeping them with larger species like other South American cichlids, like Geophagus or Severums. Currently at at the moment I have these three housed with some polyeptus bichers and some quarry cats. The quarries are venomous and they are a bit, they're big enough that the pikes are not going to bother them. Eventually down the road I wouldn't recommend that mixture but as of right now the pikes are small enough that they're not going to bother them at all. These pike cichlids are territorial as I mentioned before especially with their own kind. As long as they have plenty of space which what I would suggest would be a 75 gallon or a larger then they should get along well when added together but in a smaller aquarium such as this one they definitely are territorial species. These pikes can live up to 10 years which is awesome because it's a nice long-lived fish for your aquarium. They are a secretive fish so they do prefer to have some nice overhangs or places for them to kind of be secluded because in the wild they naturally hang out around large fallen branches or other overhangs where they can stalk their prey. In the wild they mainly eat fish, invertebrates, anything basically that will fit in their mouth and they'll do the same in the aquarium as well. These guys here are all eating frozen food and pellet food without any hesitation. They even eat flakes which is awesome and they were eating the first day we got them which is amazing. Being South American they can handle a pH anywhere from 6.5 all the way up to 7.5 so they're relatively hardy in that aspect. As far as far as temperature, they can also handle a wide range of temperatures, anywhere from 72 up to 82 degrees. One thing I definitely want to point out with these guys is there are definitely jumpers. They will escape at any chance they have if the tank lid is open, so treat them like an eel basically because they will jump out if you leave the lid open or if there's even a crack. So make sure whatever aquarium you put them in is very well sealed. As I mentioned before, these fish are very rare in the hobby, which is really exciting that we have I think I have six here at the Wakefield store and we have some both at our Seekonk and Coventry stores as well. So if you're really looking for that rare fish, that centerpiece fish that's just like, wow, where did you get that? Now is definitely the time to get them because they're amazing. They're just so cool to watch. And honestly, they're really personable as well. They kind of already recognize me when I come up with food. They all get excited and come right up to the aquarium, which is really, really neat. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV. And you know what to do. Keep it fresh, baby.